Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at another Microsoft Excel tip and in particular conditional formatting. Now I really love conditional formatting. What it does is it really directs the viewer's eye to a certain area of the table by highlighting cells, color coding cells that really just draw out the importance of what you're trying to show. So let's get started. On the very left hand side of the screen we've got a very simple sales table with some salespeople and their results over the last two years. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some visual data bars to the 2019 sales. What data bars are is a visual representation of the data that you have in the cells, sort of like a horizontal bar chart without going through the process of creating a bar chart. So very simply, I'm going to highlight the cells where I want this represented. Go up to the ribbon, find conditional formatting, and then select data bars. Once you hover over the icons, you can see it changing in the spreadsheet. I will choose the one at the top left. And now you can see the data represented in a horizontal bar chart style of visualization. That's the first of many types of conditional formatting and one that I like to use on a regular basis. Number two, we want to change the cell background to red for sales growth less than zero. So again, I'm going to highlight the cells that we are referring to. I'm going to go up to conditional formatting. And I'm going to highlight cells using a rule and the rule was sales growth less than zero. Highlight less than zero. And the option I'll choose is a light red fill with dark red text. Press OK. And now you can see any of the sales people that had sales growth less than 0% are now highlighted in red. So let's move over to the second table to show a couple of other options within conditional formatting. It's exactly the same table. And the next request is add color scales to the 2019 sales. So again, I'll highlight the 2019 sales, go to conditional formatting, go down to color scales, and maybe choose an option of all green. Now what this does is highlight the cells at the higher end in the dark green and in the lower end closer to white and you can see it pretty much mirrors the same as the original data bars in the first table. The final conditional formatting we'll show today is use a formula to determine the font of the sales growth. This is a little bit more complex so please follow along. Again, we will highlight the cells that we want to represent, select conditional formatting. This time we'll use a new rule and there's a few options. We'll go down to the bottom one, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And now I'm going to enter in the formula. We'll use the first cell as a reference point, J3, we'll take out the locked dollar signs. J3 is less than the grand total average. We're going to format the font to a dark red and press OK and OK again. So what that is doing and a simple question is usually asked is which salespeople are growing at a less or a higher rate than the grand total average and now very simply we can see the cells in red font that are growing less than the, than the reference cell of 15.6%. Now just one final tip is that everything in conditional formatting is dynamic. 
So if any of the numbers change, the bars, the data charts, the colors will also change. If you remember the last one we did, anything that was less than the grand total average will turn red. If we change that grand total average to 40%, you'll notice that these other sales growth that are less than 40% will turn red. So thanks for your time. Don't forget to subscribe so I can create some more Excel tips and tricks. Thank you.